हेलो एंड वेलकम टू ऑल द यू पी एस सी स्पायरेंस इन दी मन्यू आई एस कंसेप्ट सीरीज अगेन टुडे वी विल लुक एट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज इंटर स्टेट काउंसिल एंड जोनल काउंसिल्स सो लेट्स सी दिस एंड दो स्टूडेंट्स हु वॉन्ट्स टू जॉइन द इंडियन पॉलिटी मॉड्यूल वी आर गिविंग थ्री डेज फ्री ट्रायल सो प्लीज हैव अ लुक ऑन दिस लेट्स सी वन बाय वन इंटर स्टेट काउंसिल एंड एंड देन जोनल काउंसिल्स अंडर आर्टिकल टू सिक्सटी थ्री इंटर काउंसिल so the interstate council was recommended by number of commissions like admin reform commission sarkaria commission punchi commission and we have interstate council in the year 1990 so let's see what it does it is established by the president of india any time to serve public interest and also the president of india defines its duties then it enquire advise investigate make recommendations on disputes between center and states for better coordination and harmony so this is the term of reference of the interstate council which in numbers it inquires the problems advise on the problems give recommendations on the on number of issues between the center and the state and ensure that there is coordination and harmony between the central and the state governments then its advice is complementary to supreme court jurisdiction under article 131 to decide legal controversy between the governments because under article 131 this work is also done by the supreme court so interstate council has been assigned the similar work on the same lines of the supreme court to decide on the legal controversies between the governments it gives non binding decisions which means its recommendations are non acceptable by the government of india or by the government of states it was established in the year 1990 it comprises of whom prime minister as the chairman cm of all the states cm of uts with assemblies like we have in delhi we have puducherry we have jammu and kashmir administrators of uts like of chandigarh and other uts governor where the president rule is applied and is working and six cabinet ministers including home minister five minister of state as permanent invitee by the chairman who is the prime minister so though it is constituted by the president of india but the chairman is the prime minister who takes all the decisions who takes all the important matters like inviting the five state minister as a permanent invitee then it meets three times in a year and questions of these interstate councils are decided by consensus which simply means that center and the state governments will have a coordination and cooperation in their decisions its standing committee was established in the year 1996 to do the number of works which cannot be done because of the high number of works of the interstate council and the chairman of interstate council is the home minister along with he has nine cms or the chief minister five cabinet minister of the union as the integral part of this interstate council ki standing committee then to work the implementation and to ensure the documentary works we have a secretariat rate which was established in the year 1991 which also functions as the secretariat of the zonal councils which will be dealing just now so this much is enough to understand what interstate council is and basically the crux of the interstate council is to have a collaboration and cooperation among the central and the state governments to ensure that both works in a proper harmony in proper synchronization and do not fights then what is zonal councils it is a non constitutional but as i mentioned that under article 263 interstate council is mentioned so that is constitutional but zonal council is non constitutional but it is statutory also which means it is statutory though but not constitutional it's statutory ka matlab created by the act of the parliament by which act state reorganization act of 1956 so by this act we have five zonal councils and one other one which i'll be telling we have five in numbers zonal council for five zones in india hamare yahan india ko panch bhagon mein baata gaya north central southern eastern and western and north mein jitne states aaye unke liye ek zonal council west mein jitne hai unke liye ek south mein jitne hai unke liye ek center mein jitne hai unke liye ek and the east mein jitne hai unke liye ek इस तरीके से वी हैव डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड फाइव जोनल काउंसिल्स एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ व्हाट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ नेचुरल जियोग्राफी लाइक रिवर्स माउंटेन्स मींस ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन डाइवर्सिटी 
लो एंड ऑर्डर एंड सोशो इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट सो दीज आर द क्राइटेरिया ऑन द बेस ऑफ विच द जोनल काउंसिल एंड देयर जुरिस्डिक्शन हैव बिन डिफाइंड इन द स्टेट्यूटरी लॉ ऑफ द स्टेट रीऑर्गेनाइजेशन एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन it comprised of whom it comprised of union home minister as a chairman of all the zonal councils so we have five zonal councils so sabhi ke zonal councils ke chairman will be the home minister of the country it also comprised of cm of all the states in the zones jitne bhi states hain jaise kahin par panch hai kahin par char hai to un saaron ke hi cms bhi will be the part of this table of the zonal council and two other state ministers then administrators of uts where there are uts like in chandigarh in the northern council we have this advisers like chief secretary and development commissioner and the person nominated by the niti ayog so they will be the person the, the they will be the three persons who will be coming from the bureaucracy or from the public administration first is the chief secretary then the development commissioner who is again the ias officer and the person nominated by the niti ayog who is a r and d person means the researcher and any other person each chief minister act as a vice chairman by rotation for one year which simply means that we have chairman as a union home minister every time of all the zonal councils but along with that we have cm of one respective zonal council let's suppose we have in the northern council five states so in the five states we have five cms and one cm will be the vice chairperson for one year and the next year the next turn will become of the next cm of the same council then it coordinate between the states what are the terms of references and the conditions why it is established so they, these are the reasons it coordinate between the states uts and center on various issues of regional and national importance and ensure integration cooperation on development projects and important issues among the all so center state uts ke beech mein cooperation ho coordination ho aur inke beech mein alag alag muddon pe baat ho chahe wo development ke matters ho chahe wo alag law and order ke ho diversity ke ho public importance ke ho sari hi cheezon pe collaboration ek coordination ek synchronization ke sath ye baithe baat kare and comes on a conclusion we have sixth zonal council which is called as north east zonal council which is not created by this act of state reorganization act but by a separate act of 1971 which is called north east zonal council act of 1971 because of a peculiarity of northeast from the rest of the country and it also works on the similar lines along with two new aspects have been uh, collaborated and added in their tenure which is security and public order because in northeast we have security public law and law and order problems so that is why these two conditions are also been added into the terms of reference of the northeastern council so this much is enough for the interstate council and the zonal council concept video so thank you so much we'll meet on the next day with the next topic thank you so much